going to do the brakes today on the Austin A35 1958. Secret with the brakes is cleanliness. Getting all this clean. Clean. I know this looks a bit messy and all these are going to need re replacing. See these rubbers, they've, they've had it. These rubbers over here, in fact, the whole, the whole lot's had it. I've just done this one. This is the flexible brake hose that goes into the pistons on the brake shoe. The way it works is that hose goes into there. And it pumps the fluid into this piston that pushes that little rod upwards that makes the brakes do that. They're connected up so that both sides work, so both pistons work together. And these are the shoes there. They're asbestos, but unfortunately they are the business. The modern stuff is just not good enough. Now you can't, you gotta leave that loose. So you screw that in to the back of one of these pistons first, because you can't have it tight up here and use a spanner down here. Because otherwise you will tear the rubber. So you get it fairly tight. Get that on there like that. Chuck a couple of, there's four bolts. Let's see if we can do it in real time. And I sit there at night watching YouTube. People's maintenance, like Diesel Creek and watch Harry works. And he does tend to do it in real time. I'm not too good at all the cutting and editing. As most of you watching this will probably know, I'm no good on computers, or I always said I wasn't. So let's just put this in like that. These are the four that hold this back hub onto the car. So what we're gonna do is just tighten these up. As you can see, I've rebuilt all these. All these pistons are totally rebuilt. When I say all these, I mean that one, that one, these two. So just tighten it, tighten it them up now. Just tweak them. You don't have to break break their heads. Just literally get them tight. As I say, the modern brakes that they sell for these aren't asbestos. They are pretty pretty rubbish. Mind you, these are the originals, and these are pretty rubbish as well. But they are better. So we're just going to tighten these up now. These pistons, these two pistons were all seized up when I took them apart. So I've had to replace the seals and clean them up and really work with it to get them running. So now that's on, okay. There's your flexible hose. So as the wheel turns, the hose flexes. You can't have a rigid one, otherwise it'll just snap. So we'll just give them a tweak now. But like I say, I'm not gonna break the ends off the bolts. Let's try and, try and tweak them diagonal so you spread the pressure I have got a torque wrench I just can't be bothered to get it out but they should be all right I'm just gonna tweak them just so that they're on and they're nice and tight the car isn't gonna be doing 150 mile an hour up the A2 it all works quite nice now look at that now look at that lovely what we do then is we get here that's the or what do you want to call it, the uh, axle, castrol, PH grease, does say on the back of it, suitable for wheel bearings. Now you don't want too much of this on, when I say too much you're going to say, well you certainly lacquer on it on there, because if it starts to drip down you do not want it going on these pads, so if it, if it starts to overfill you don't want it going on the pads because then your brakes will be wrecked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put on the thing the wheel sits on, which is this, all right? I've cleaned it up. I put a little bit of grease in the back. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny smidgen. Well, that much. And we're gonna put that over this shaft. what your wheel sits on and we're going to fill that now 
I am going to eventually take these apart and rebuild these, put new bearings in, but at the moment I've just used the original bearings. I can't see that they're 1958 because I don't think they would have lasted, so I think someone has changed them. So you put that on there like that, and you pack that, you're supposed to pack that with grease. But as I say, the car isn't going to be doing a thousand miles to the Outer Hebrides. It's literally going to be driving around the block. That's the first thing you do. And you get this washer that, as you can see, well, it's just about intact. It's keyed, there's a key in the top of that. I don't know if you notice that, and that little ridge goes in there. And that pushes back like so, yeah. Once you've done that, you get what's called a castle nut. It's got a little, looks like a little castle. You put your castle nut on there like that. So should we tighten it up? Yeah, let's let's tighten it up. Let's tighten it up. So the castle nut gets tightened up, and you know, it's a fine. This is a bit of a fine line here because you don't want to over tighten it. So it is squeezing the hub on now. Funny enough, the more I tighten that, it doesn't actually make a difference. It still spins, so I reckon there's a spacer in there. So what we'll do is, on top of, see the key just there? You can just see it, right at the 12 o'clock position. Well, that key's got to be in line with one of these, so I can either take it to that one or take it back to that one. So let's try and tighten it a little bit more. <coughs> now... A little bit tad more, just literally a tad more. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Okay, that's that's there. That spins. Give it one more little tiny, tiny turn. Right, then we get. A split pin you put the pin through there and you'll naturally see it wants to ride straight down keep it going it's come out of the bottom but that's not a problem we'll just tap it, tap it in a little bit more there you go and it'll sit in that groove there all going well. It will sit. Or maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll give it a try. There you go, that's gone. And what we do is we just pull one of those up. base off that one about there and just gently I am looking for my punch I'm using everything but a punch at the moment I have got a proper punch that does this and I can't put my finger on it so I'm going to use that you don't have to whack that with him just push it back a bit after you've done that a little bit more Packing grease around there. I don't know whether it keeps the moisture out or as the, as the wheel runs, it just goes in. I don't know, but that's what you do. And you take this little cap, whack some in there as well. Like that. Probably, probably should be full flush, but like I say, it, it ain't going to be driven like a maniac. It's literally going to do 30 mile an hour at, at, at the top. Now, push that in, and it'll 
pressure will equalise. Then you get the drum that's here. And before I put that on, you have to take off these because they hold the drum on. You get the drum, you don't want to put any oil or grease inside there. These are dated the 21st to the 8th, 1958. And there's not a lot of wear on them, probably because they never worked well when they were made. But it's an original, same year as the car. That goes on there like that. You can adjust them. If they, if they, there's two locking pins that go in here. One, two, so screws. But look at that, look, look at that. So we're just gonna screw that up. There's one. <coughs> There's the other. So now what we have is a brake system. Look at that. A brake system that is starting to work. Got to tighten that up inside the car. Feed that back, that's another story. But those brakes are fixed. They just need to be adjusted. And the way they adjust, if you can imagine that's the inside of a piston there. You put a, you get through these that hole there. You get it onto the piston, and then you put a screwdriver through. You find one, and you push that round. And as you push that round, this bit here moves upwards and pushes the brake upwards. Yeah. Thus, you set the brakes just on biting, and then take them down slightly, and then you bleed the system. So you set them, you start off to set them by turning this adjustment screw, which you get through through here. And there's two of them, one there and one for the other piston down there. Well, look, that's it. I hope it, um, I hope it shows you how a braking system works on an old car. It's a little bit simple, but it works. A bit like its owner. Thanks for watching.